Hey there, it's Mario here, and it's time for another quick video. And in this one, I wanted to make a motivational video. At first, when I thought about making a motivational video, all these topics came to mind. Things like, how do you not give a fuck? You know, how do you stop caring about what other people think? How do you uh, crush it? You know, how do you become the best version of yourself? How do you destroy self-doubt? And these are all great topics, and I will be covering them in the future videos, but there's one thing that I feel like is more important, that is infinitely more important than these topics. That is that biggest epiphany that I had in my life, the biggest realization, it actually was inspired by a conversation that I had with a client recently. We covered all the fitness nutrition stuff, you know, everything that a client needs to do, and we got to that personal development stuff. It was a simple question, what is the biggest realization in my life that led to me making all these good decisions on a day-to-day -day basis? Because we got into our conversation and the client asked me, well, how did you get to travel to all these countries? You know, how did you build a business? How did you end up here? And I couldn't say how, you know, I don't know. I didn't have that grand scheme, you know, I didn't visualize it five years ahead of time. You know, I didn't do that. I just focused on the day-to-day -day decisions. I just focused what I need to do in the next 24 hours. And then we got to it, well, what was the epiphany? Well, the epiphany was how to make that better decision. How do you do that decision and move in that right direction? That's what I wanna share with you guys. And it's quite simple, actually. It's a very simple thought-making process. So it goes like this, right? Short-term pleasure, things that give you short-term pleasure, external pleasure, equals to long-term pain disappointment and regret, short-term pain, things that cause a little bit of pain in the short term, equal long-term pleasure, happiness, and fulfillment. That's it. That's my whole decision-making process. When I'm faced with a decision in a day, like right now, am I gonna go to the gym? I, I have a choice. You know, I can choose short-term pleasure. Oh, I'm gonna skip gym today. You get that relief. You know, you get that feeling of ease. You know, it's easy, it's nice. There's no burden, you know. I can chill out. Or I can choose that short-term pain, which is going to the gym right now, which the gym is packed with people. I have eight different exercises to do, and I have a lot of sets. It's gonna be painful. I'm literally gonna break down my body and let that body heal. Which one am I gonna choose? Well, if I choose not to go, I will get that little insta gratification pleasure thing. But what is that gonna do long term? Is that gonna make me a better person? Is that gonna be making me a healthier person? Is that gonna prevent a disease? Is that gonna lead to my happiness? Probably not. But if I choose a short term pain, that's gonna heal in a couple of days and the, over the long run, that's gonna make me happier, healthier, more fulfilled, and I'm going to be on that journey of becoming the best version of myself. Very simple example. Another example of people, let's say of uh, short term pain that people often avoid is let's say saying no. You know, people hate saying no. It's, it causes that short term pain. It's not physical pain, but it hurts. It hurts saying no to your friends, saying no to things that you know aren't good for you actually hurts. When the friend's offering you the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth drink, because you don't have the same value system, it is hard to say no to that. You have to say no, you have to embrace that short-term pain. If you don't, what's that gonna do for you? That's gonna basically collide with your values and you're gonna lose over the long run. And the simple example as well with a diet. You know, you can choose that burger right now and you can choose that pizza, you can eat that junk food, you can go to a 7-Eleven right now, for 20 bucks, you can buy as much junk food as you can fill your stomach with. What's that gonna do? Well, it's gonna give you that pleasure, you know, it's gonna make you feel better and it feels good to eat that food. But in the long run, what is that gonna do? Well, it's gonna probably lead to some fat gain. It's probably gonna lead to your being disappointed with yourself, which is even a bigger problem. And it's gonna lead to you losing that integrity and that value system. And it's your choice. Which one are you gonna enforce? Are you gonna reinforce more of that strong value system with choosing those little short-term pains? Or are you gonna choose that disappointment or that long-term regret by choosing that little external pleasure that you're gonna get in the moment? So think about that for a second. Which one are you gonna pick? And this is not black and white. You're never going to make 100% of pain. You're never going to do 100% of pleasure. But the point is to lean more toward the side of that choosing that thing that is a little bit uncomfortable for you in the moment, but it is the right thing to do. It is the right, and you know it that is the right thing to do. When you're faced with that decision in the moment, 
Choose that thing that you know is gonna be a little bit painful, but over the long run is going to get you success. Instead, for try to minimize as much as possible choosing those things that, I mean, am I saying against pleasure? No, I mean, I love hedonic stuff. You know, I love things that have a lot of hedonic value and that give us pleasure, but it has to be controlled. It has to come from the place of where you're moving forward. If that is 90% of your decisions in a day, where is that gonna lead you? Probably not towards success. So think about it for, for a second, you know? How does that apply to your life? Let me know in the comments below. What is your biggest epiphany? And because this is for me, I mean, every day, every day I'm faced with these decisions, I think about this. Every day, in that moment, every single decision, is that gonna be a little bit painful, making that phone call, saying that no, making that awkward conversation, going to the gym, eating that healthy food that it doesn't even taste as good when I could eat this food? No, it's all decisions. And I make sure that I choose the right ones. And that's the difference. That's the only difference between people who are successful and people who aren't so successful is just making that better day to day decision. So let me know in the comments below. What's your biggest epiphany? Share with me, share with the community and subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, you know, check out the videos. Maybe you like some of these. So check it out. And I hope you enjoyed. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.